Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome here to Vanilla TV, where we have... I, I would like to say it's a pretty awesome Light FTF2 that we have in store for you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, um, we're going to watch what could possibly be the greatest upset in the history of the world. And uh, I've had a lot of discussions with people today, and we're going to inform about all of that as soon as I'm done with the general stuff. Comedian's going to be the streamer for today. You can check his info out on the bottom right on the splash screen that we have right here. And Scully is going to be my co-caster, and myself, obviously, I'm pledged. You guys should know this by now. I've been casting it forever. Um, Scully and me have done a lot of casting together. We're just going to keep on going because we've done it loads for the Nations Cup. And Scully, god damn it, I'm excited. I'm excited as well. I've not seen any of these teams all of the Nations Cup. Right. Because we've been doing like we've been doing like the top half of the bracket. We did Russia. Yeah, we've done like that. We've basically done Russia, Russia, Sweden, Russia, USA, Russia. Yeah, just like a whole yeah. list of Russia, just screaming at Russia and, and Sweden and USA. So I'm really interested. I'm really interested to see this because from what I've heard, what I've seen. Denmark's produced a lot of uh, shock results. Yeah, dude, we're gonna have to talk about that in a second. Like, it's what Den Denmark is. Uh, they're, they're just the up and coming. Well, I wouldn't say up and coming team because it's a Nations Cup. They never play, but they're the team that no one expected to be here, and suddenly here they are, uh, just kind of doing their thing and making it to the semi-finals by beating teams like Israel and Portugal, which no one actually expected, especially against Israel. That was completely out of the blue. Um, before we talk about that in depth, though, I want to apologize, like, in advance, because my headset is actually broken. Um, you may not hear that, you may, but I'm kind of tweaking sound levels, and, like, my microphone kind of swivels around in front of my face. Uh, I'm getting a new headset tomorrow, so after that, everything should be fine. But today, it might be a little bit off from time to time. I apologize for that. I'll try to keep it as steady as possible. Either way, now, let's talk about this game. We have Team England and not Team UK. I need to stress that. It's Team England, Scully, and obviously you know this because you're from England yourself. Um, against Team Denmark, of which Team England is, I think, 99% of people expect England to win today, Scully. Yeah, I think, yeah, I'm sorry, I, I'm, Engli I, I'm English. All I know is Denmark, Vinda! I, oh, God, Denmark, <laughs> Vinda, that's... <laughs> It's, sorry, I, I we're to gonna have to up. say that about a thousand times today. Okay, I it's had gonna to be get hilarious. That uh, just but, go England. There you yeah. go. I did. No, I did the other part. I, I must admit it because it's weird because the last time a Nations Cup was done was not done by uh, the European Team Fortress Two League. It was done by ESL, and that was yeah. a UK team. Which, to be fair, with no offense to the rest of the British Isles, the UK, there's only really one guy that was an English in that team, and that was Mike. So yeah. it's not a bit. You know, it's basically the same team that went all the way last time. And it, so, it's also interesting just looking at their lineup as well. I mean, you've basically just got a who's who of Premiership, really. You've got, you've got. I don't know if you want to call him the legend. That is Bites. Uh, you know, yeah, such, he's a, a such a great right help to the yeah. community. A lineup, one of the best demo men around at the moment. Numlocked, um, up and coming soldier Hat, uh, the uh, controversial Boomy. I say controversial because we all, we, you know, we, we won't touch that. Si won't the touch the past. Twice. There you go. And, <laughs> That's an, inter all. and an interesting uh, interesting scout combination of Greg and Stark. It's really a who's who, really, when you look at it. That all of them have played Premier Premiership TF2, I think. Stark, Stark has hasn't. Played, yeah. Stark hasn't. Stark right? hasn't, no, but I think he is. Um, he will be to, next yeah, season. Yeah, he will be, he next, will be season. next season. Yeah. Um, right, so that's the English team. Looking at the Danish team, though, that's a little bit of everything. Um, and, and this is kind of why we did not expect him to be this good. F2 is playing Medic. Everyone should know this guy. Um, he won Season 12 with Epsilon, convincingly. Um, arguably the best step, the best Medic ever in TF2. Um, I think a lot of people in Europe will say, if you need to name any Medic in the past or right now that's the best Medic ever, people will say F2. Obviously just in Europe. I'm not going to talk about... I-46, that's a stupid thing, I'm not going to do that. Um, <laughs> we probably will during the cast, though, Scully, but that's fine. Um, but F2 is playing Medic for Team Denmark, and after that we have Premiership experienced players, like Quad and Natural, who've played a little bit of time in Premiership, of which Quad is probably the most known of the two. And then we have uh, a couple of alright players, I would like to say, and Dr. Phil Krills, I think it's Krills, or Cribs, what is his name? Krizzle? Krizzle, I think Krizzle, we'll try and give it Krizzle. I have like this white box in my like HUD and everything, I think everyone has that still. 
uh, or loads of people have that. Uh, in I don't clothes. have a white, but yeah, but... but I have a little box I cannot really see, but it's Crizzle. And uh, so Dr. Phil, Crizzle, and also Helbert. Helbert's probably a little bit more known than the other two, but those are three sort of unknown players. They play around the Division 2 slash 3 level, they're kind of unknown, and suddenly here they are playing against the best players in England and arguably in Europe, and they're unbelievably good, and suddenly you're there as the Danish team. But then again, we said that two rounds ago. We said that last round against Israel, against Portugal, and still they oh. managed to win every single time. Man, I mean, from what I heard from the Israel game, just to show how amazing Quad is, according to the scouts from Israel, they're both strong scouts. Quad had more frags than both scouts combined. That's how good Quad is. I mean, yeah. we all know, all, we all know, you know, the, the old, the old running joke that he hacks, and he doesn't because we know that we've seen him at LAN. He is an amazing scout. He doesn't I mean, anymore, but obviously he, just, he yeah. got like he got yeah, but, he got sentenced before. But but it's just it's just amazing when you look at it. one thing I know is it's almost like the the, the the grizzled veterans as such of the Denmark team are leading these these youth these youthful these young players. Yeah. And it's an amazing combination which I think I I don't know what works. I don't know if it is just F two playing his balls deep survival and quad just going quad crazy. But it's yeah. just amazing how it works. No, I get it, to be honest. I mean, we haven't seen a lot of Denmark because we saw Israel versus Denmark and we were like, no, we, we have better games to cost. And then we saw Israel, uh, then we saw Denmark versus Portugal. We were like, no, we have we have Sweden for, or we have France versus the USA. It's a better game to cost. And now suddenly we're here with Denmark and we actually cannot ignore them anymore. <laughs> we kind of just have to cast them at this moment in time. Obviously, it's the only game on. That's, that's obviously the sole reason we're casting this. I'm really excited though, Scully. Can Denmark do it again? A third upset in a row, in my opinion at least. Obviously, the insiders know Denmark pretty good. Like, they're, they're actually really good. They know what they're doing. But this English team... Oh, I, a lot of people said, I, I think almost 25% of people who said out of the top five that we have before the event, they said England's going to win. No problem. 25 to 50% of people somewhere there, people said England's going to win because look at their team. It is unbelievably good. Yeah. And they're, I think so far they're right. I mean, if they can beat this Denmark team, they will, up against, they will be up against either Sweden or Team USA in the grand finals, which will obviously be a, be a cracker of a game. But they first need to pass Denmark, and Denmark is just a tricky opponent to face at the moment. Uh, yeah, it, the, the question is, what do you focus on? Because it could be a day where Quad doesn't have a Quad, uh, doesn't, I'd call it a Quad day. Quad doesn't play his normal game and probably starts bad, but the rest of the team managed to rally around it and still managed to play well. I mean, it's hard to say that one man doesn't determine a team. And no. again, it's not one man that doesn't deserve a team. I know I keep going back to the whole quad thing but you just cannot just you cannot say he's like clockwork he is like clockwork for usa he is that damn good of a scout that you have to factor him in no matter where who you're playing what you're playing what time where is it anything you know you've just got to factor him in and it's just gonna be really interesting and to be i'll be absolutely honest right now i think england will win this i know it's early to make a prediction but i think it's going to go to three maps that's my opinion. Yeah, I... Uh, Gully Wash, like, we're going to start with Gully Wash. Um, and Numlock actually just um, just asked for me if I was ready, and then we actually are, so we're just going to wait for them to go ready. Numlock said they're going to be ready up any... Um, well, not any second, but as soon as possible, so they know we're ready. So, like, um, two minutes then. Let's be ready for that, Scully. And it's, but no, like, it's... Okay, Gully Wash, let's speak about Gully Wash for just a second. I looked up the results, and apparently Denmark plays Gully Wash every single round. Um... The two most important ones, obviously against Israel in the round of uh, 16, and then immediately after against Portugal in the round of 8, and now in the round of 4 against England. They played Gully Wars three times now in a row. This is going to be a third time. The first time they won 6-1 against Israel on Gully Wash. <laughs> that's one hell of an impressive result. You don't beat a team full of Prem players that's called Israel 6-1 on Gully Wars. You just don't. And, they, and Denmark managed to do that. That's a result I expect from America. That's a result I expect from England, not from a team like Denmark. So it's a very impressive thing to see. Immediately afterwards, they played Gully Wars against Portugal, which they also managed to win 4-3. Less impressive, but still amazing that they managed to win. I'm quite, I'm quite surprised because I couldn't remember the Israel. I thank you for bringing that up. I could not remember the score in the Israel game. But yeah. to, to beat Israel 5-1? 
yeah, that is very, you know, it is quite a shock. Maybe we will see that. Maybe uh, you know, I can see. If anything, I can see Denmark getting the first round because I think really, cause, with no offense to Denmark, only player in Denmark that has been playing uh, at LAN the, over the last few weeks was F2. Nobody else was really there. So, I'm just seeing, because they're now saying on live, so 90 seconds ago they were saying the cast of the ready size. So yeah. We've probably got 30 it's seconds. It's fine. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be good to go in just a Quick second. I, uh, uh, England to take it very close. Like 5-3 or something. Yep. I, 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 I think Denmark could win this one. Maybe a close, maybe a golden cap. Twitch TV, I want to hear what you say as well, because, you know... <laughs> yeah, guys, uh, I, I, I'm actually, like, I'm seeing pretty much fans from everywhere. Um, I'm not 100% sure who to watch. Like, for Denmark, the scouts are going to be crucial. Greg and Stark, while they're fantastic, they're the arguably worst part of that team, because they're not insane, like Boomy and Hatter. They're not ridiculously good, like Numlock is. And they're not as experienced as Bites as well, maybe Greg is, but... The scouts are going to be, if you can call it, a weak point of the day, uh, of, of the English. Well, on the other hand, Quad and Helberg are unbelievably skilled, mainly on the aim department. If they can work together and actually kill off Greg and Stark repeatedly, they can really hurt England. And I think that's going to be sort of the thing to watch as uh, both teams are going to go ready now. I don't think I have to do a VOD in, uh, intro. A comedian will probably tell me if I have to, but... Um, thanks for joining us here at Vanilla TV. Anyway, we're going to have England versus Denmark coming up here in the ETF 12 Nations Cup for 6v6. Um, semi-finals already here with Legend Scully and Comedian on the camera. Golly Watch is going to be the first map. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Scully, take it away. You're going to see in the gateway already quite. Greg has gone down straight for England, so they got a man to the vantage. They do take away the soldier. Try goes down straight away from Hat. Hat bombing aggressively, so they have got this the English. Look at the pressure going straight onto Bite. Bite is trying to get away and just survive. It's just quite on F. It's just filler. It's just quite up. Quite on its own defend that point. They can't do it. It is a white. England's got this point and has some great survival. I want to say from Bite there. He had a yep. couple soldiers looking at him. Yeah, it was pretty impressive from Bite to actually get out of there. I think it was half health for pretty much that entire middle. But he managed to stay out of their fight and pretty much just leave his entire team alone, managing to stay alive. Which, in the end, was obviously a very good thing. Now, with the Umals ready to go, Numlock's already on that top area, Scully. They're just going to lock it down. I don't think there's anything Denmark can do. No, they're playing really far forward. They're going to have to get back now. They're just trying to see what they can do. However, they have got 50% Uber already, which is, very, which is quite good. I mean, they're going to have 60... I mean, England's going to make a move. They're actually idly. I don't think they've yeah. got read on this. I don't know what F2, how F2's managed to get Uber so far. Yeah, they've got to go they, now. They've been building like a madman. 85% already onto F2. Yes, his nickname and is Try in the game. 90% and the heavy. 95, 97 already on F2. And yes, he's going to have it. And pretty much a perfect defense coming out of Denmark so far. England did not push fast enough there. They let F2 actually get that Uber, and it's going to be a 5 versus 4 scenario. Something which um, the English obviously cannot really push on with that heavy there. Greg's now going down as well. Might be the sign for the Danish to actually push out on this, but the Uber's somewhat equal, and the Danish might want to just take it easy for now and just kind of get into the game. I don't know how much of a slow start that they are, but knowing F2 with his team Epsilon, they usually have to take it easy for about 5 to 10 minutes before they get into the game really look at what quad's gone quad's gone sniper i was waiting because i thought myself if quad went scout they would contest the point quad's gone sniper and so either he's not good they've not got a good read on the uber or they're just just holding on because i think they're what's happening spike coming out for greg as well um, that's gonna be interesting was, as well greg was actually disguised as friendly sniper as well so they might not oh, be expecting a spy uh, here, here we come. go greg now undisguising now oh not undisguising actually just losing his there he go, goes for the heavy is gonna get the heavy, heavy. Very steady stab. Now the Uber comes in. Six versus five, but obviously the Spy not really going to be super useful at this moment in time. Counter Uber gets popped. They have a little bit of a window. They can kill the Spy off. Five versus five, and Helberg is still spotting in five seconds. The, the English are going to probably push on this, though. Numlock trying to work his way through here from this sort of uh, side area. Now pulling in loads of stickies. Two picks already versus the one, but Dr. Phil defending very well so far here for the Danish. Helberg oh, goes Numlock. down. Look at the health on the Danish. I don't think they're going to make it, Scully. Here we go. Just Demo Numlock. versus Demo. Medic versus Medic and Nomlock all the way on top of the point. They're going to have to try and defend this, but Nomlock is probably going to manage it. And here we go. The score That's is brilliant 1 play. to 0. Brilliant play. Nice little textbook there because they knew they didn't have to heavy up, so they waited for the Ubers to die out and go back in. It was yeah. a bit of a slow back push in, but, you know, it was all on court and the stickies there, and that's just what they needed. Good play there from, uh, not quad, I mean Numlock. Some good yeah. play there from Numlock. Really set that up here.
Second middle now coming up here on CP Gullo. His first map in the ETF 12 semi-finals of 6v6 Nations Cup. Uh, England's gonna try for a sort of st a very standard left side rollout. Looks like Bite's getting oh, caught off shot. a little bit though. Two for two, great shot coming out there. But it looks like Numlock still on 260 HP. There's no worries for him whatsoever. Natural's gonna have to try and make a difference though. He jumps up, gets left alone. But now Dr. Phil and, and F2 oh, coming out from the side. F2 catches a great stick. Oh, oh my god. What a sticky. Wow, that was a bit of bad communication there from F2 and Dr. Phil. I think he, I think what F2 was doing was right, but he had no one there. But I don't think it would have made a difference because that was some great sticky placement there from Numlock. Really liked that as well. And also, F2 went down late. Look at that. Bite's now got his Uber, and F2's just spawned. Yeah, quad sniping already. Let's see. Bite really needs to be careful that he doesn't. Yeah, he's sending demo first. That's kind of the way you want to do it. You want to send in your demo to secure the area, then go in as medic to make sure that you don't get sniped off. But it looks like Quad getting that buff really soon. Where is he standing at the moment? I cannot actually find him. Is he on last already? I guess so. He's yeah, got he is. Pyro on last. He's, he's got pyro on last. He there likes the pyro action. He is quite. He, he's been playing some strong pyro on last, from what I saw in the last round. All depends really where they're going to go. He's going to stay. I think he's just going to stay right. He knows where they're going. Oh, here he comes with the Uber. He has pushed by away. That's real good play. He's pushed by away. And but no one looks on the oh, point. No Look at the down. fry. Oh, there well. You go. Obviously, the miscommunication coming out of there from England, I guess. I mean, the heavy plus that air blast pyro just working wonders for the Danish. Five versus two right now, but they need to be so careful. There's two scouts alive, which Greg is in the super secret hiding spot. Stark is in super secret hiding spot number two. Oh my and we're going to see how that's going to... Greg actually oh. saw Greg going for the backup. Finds Dr. Phil on his way, though. Takes him down, and he's not going to be able to have the health rushing here into second uh, or into last. Sorry, we see F2 already having that Uber and Krizzle just defending that last. The Danish are going to pick up the second point with F2 still. Still having that Uber, and I think Greg may have made the wrong decision going for last there instead of five two. Yeah, it's, it's a double-edged sword, really. You've, you know, well, it's not double-edged yeah. sword. It's a fork in the road. You've just got to make a right pick there, and you know, nine times out of ten, you're going to get it right, and the other time, you're going to get it wrong. So, a bit unlucky there, but I can understand his. Uh, I can understand what he was doing there. Where is, all, where is our mustache bald guy, Doctor Phil? I'm looking for him at the moment. Where is he? Uh, yeah, he is actually ready on this choke area. I'm. Unsure as to why the Danish are not pushing. It doesn't look like they're trying to push whatsoever here. They're just going to try and halt this. Stark I don't... sniper. We know it's Stark sniper. Yeah, maybe maybe they realized there was a sniper and they were like, "No, nah, we're not going to take the risk. We're just going to play it easy from now on." So I'm going to keep an eye on Stark. They are just, just... going to halt this choke area. I don't think the English are going to push aggressively either. Though. Well, I'm just going to see. Really. I'm just going to see what Stark's doing. He's on the big door at the moment. Just trying to even get a pick. He wants to see where they're positioned. So looking at the big door, he knows they're not holding back. So he knows they're going to be aggressive. There is a soldier peeking, he's trying to get something, he can't get anything at the moment, so I thought we are seeing a moment with Stark on the other side, I don't know what's happening on the other side, it's just a hold off waiting at the moment to see what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. All depends really on who wants to make the first move, and I think the English yeah, are looking forward for the first move, here we go, they popped off straight away. Uber's been exchanged, so Numlock's going to get some sticky spamming to try and get rid of Dr. Phil. No, he's happening there, it's just going to be a hold off there with a skill. Quad goes to go down from Greg there. That's a key pick. What can they get on the on the flank? There's no one else they can get on the flank. Flank is lost. The Danish flank is completely lost. The English are all over it. That means that Numlock's going to be the player to watch. Oh! There you go! What a shot from... Oh my oh god! Oh my god! Grabs that second shot and Numlock just comes in, cleans the rest up with a hat trick. Five picks for zero, while Quad already went down on the flank by Greg. So it's basically a six for nothing exchange. And England just gonna stroll through here into last. They need to be careful though. Three seconds until everyone spawns. Hat's already on the point though. Doesn't matter. Yeah, Hat anymore. went behind. Wow, that was some great aggression there. And basically, the moment Quad went down, I thought to myself, that's a key pick. And I and you can see how much of a key pick that was. Because there was no, that the, the flank was lost. And Stark, some great headshots there from Stark. Yeah. That was great play from him coming out. Like, no problem whatsoever for the English to actually clean it up as soon as those headshots come in. Third middle now, though. Everything is back to square one, except it's 2 0. But we're going to see how the soldiers from the UK are going to fare. We can see Quad. A couple of nice. I like the Mises from Quad right now. He does a lot of damage, but it seems like he's getting focused down. Does. Maybe does does he do enough damage? I don't think he does, as Nomlock did loads of damage. Now, Boomy coming in, oh, flying, oh, and takes Boomy. down Dr. Phil. But it's Scout Medic versus Soldier Medic, and that is a tricky one to predict. I don't know, really. It all depends, really, on what they're trying to do at the moment. Stark will want to get the Med Pick, or the Med Pop, and well, I don't know what they're doing. Bite is, is looking very... Oh, Bite oh. down! Bite gets an Ubersaw! Bite gets an Ubersaw! He's going to fly away with the Uber! You were joking! He's not actually Ubering. That's a man That's with nerves of steel. Here we go. <laughs> now the Uber gets exchanged, and the question is, does, does the Danes... Do the Danes... The Danes... Look how far they're trying to pull... Push, push back the English, it's not working, now it's finally working, they've got time on the point. 
Really? Can they? Can really I? Good uh, I think the English might have been able to do it if they had soldiers with a little bit more health. Boomy was on 300 though, and Half was only on like 100 ish. He had no chance. And the Danish are saying, you know what? We're just oh, gonna go. But F2 lost. out of position does get fragged. Quad gets fragged, and the UK, or well, <laughs> I would almost say the UK because Half is walking around with a tag. But it's the English. We're just going to turn around and say, you know what? You're not going to push without over on us. We're too good for that. Bike gets taken down though by Dr. Phil. So we'll see how this sort of deathmatch-esque middle is going to fare right now, Scully. Not very much. I did have to say, really, it was quite, you know, there's a soldier right behind at the moment. If I'm not going to go down from the soldier, he does. Critzel does get the soul. He's all on his own. He's only Greg and Hats up. So they somehow keep this point. I find that really interesting. Because yeah, they and are. Then, yeah, yeah, they hold the point. Quad is going to now contest for the second point. There's not much Greg can do. It's going to be Greg versus Quad. Quad's taking a high ground, so there's not much he can do. Greg can block it with Bite, but do you really want to risk Bite going out there? No, yeah. you can't, because there's soldiers holding the flank. Somehow, somehow, I was almost going to call them Epsilon, because that was an Epsilon S aggressive push. I'm, I'm, I'm loving, yeah, I, I thought that was very aggressive, just seeing like, okay, you know what, we killed four English people at the same time. That means they're all going to spawn quite late, and they're all going to spawn at the same time as well. That means that for now, there's only going to be two players. Let's push with what we have and see if we actually can put an advance out of that. And look at the advance that they have, 20% Uber. I'm not sure if they have an accurate read on this, considering Byte was up the entire time, F2 was up. So the Danish are just going to take it easy, they're going to wait for Uber. Byte's going to get the Uber, and we're going to see how much of an impact Greg is going to make with this power. Is it going to be the exact same quad did last time they pushed? Um, I'm feeling he might do, but the sniper, ah, it's a little bit of a weird pick that England has done so far. I'm expecting Stark to switch pretty soon, but the Danish might send their bomber first. I don't know. We're just going to see what's going to happen, really, because I've, I'm not a huge fan of a sniper holding on last. I, it's, it's, I don't know. It's just the way, it's just the mindset I feel. Question is, are the Danes going to do the scout rush? I'm just looking now. I think they just want to get ready. No scouts. There is a scout ready. It's going to be interesting, really. You can see that you've got the you've, you've got the English is holding there, waiting to stop it. Oh, they're going to go really aggressive. They're trying to make a force hit. Oh, oh my God. F2 oh, dropping that Uber. Booming. I think that's his first Uber drop in E12. Pretty they much. Keep, the, the guy's known safe. for never dropping Uber, Scott. Gotta keep safe. They, look, look, they've got to keep safe. They've got nobody on last. So there could be a back cut. They've got to... Gonna keep it on the back up. They are going back now. There's a soldier back. Wow, real strong aggression from Boomy. You could just see slowly just tipping the velvet and creeping and creeping. And they get that. And now they're gonna hold this point. Can they get this point? It's just Helberg up. Oh Helberg's my god. gonna stop it. What? He makes the force. Helberg pistol. Forget about the quad pistol, ladies and gentlemen. Five shots in a row onto Bite. Immediately has to pop that Uber just to make sure he stays alive. And now we got some sort of weird scenario where Bite is half health. He's going to have to wait for that. But the English are so aggressive. Normalock does get shut down, though. Is Dr. Phil going to be able to do anything? It doesn't look like it is. He's 10 HP, 6 HP. And it looks like he's going to get shut down. And therefore, all the pressure from the Danish is gone. But Bite was not healing much there at all. Look at it. Look at F2. He started with a 20% advantage. It's now 30%. Look at it. I mean, first six, to, though. I think they're out of position. I, I'm they're out of position. Yeah. But, but uh... Bite, Bite is telling the team right now. I can I can picture right now, if we've got cons of, of England, Bite is telling the team right now, they've not got the numbers. Keep pushing. Because that is yep. the tactical mindset Bite is. And if anything, oh, look at the sticky trap as well. Tell me they're going to see the sticky trap. They're not going to see the sticky <laughs> trap. They are okay. to get pots. It's going to be five, four versus two. Not much they can do. Just wait for the respawn and say who's got too much force on there. Can I get anything? No. I just want to just comment that if that's any, anybody wants to take credit for that, you've got to take the credit of the mindset of the team and just knowing when, and just knowing the number game. I think, I think Numlock's actually calling, so I don't, don't want to take any credit away from By to be honest, but I think Numlock's calling for the UK. But obviously, both those guys just made the decision, you know what, let's just go. They only have three players, Uber Advance or not. Uh, we're going to see how that's going to fare, though. Denmark is saying, we're messing up, let's go sniper heavy. Maybe this is the way how to beat Israel. Maybe this is the way how to beat Portugal. We won't know. The middle's going to commence, though. And Dr. Phil under a load of pressure rushing in. Wow. Wow, and Boomy was going for the sniper over Troy. And wow, what a shot from Quad. Does go down now. And also, Numlock does get F2. But the idea of the heavy was fantastic. But there was no medic on that heavy. And we just saw what happened. Wait, is Hellbug still in there? No, yeah. he just get out there. I was going to say, the heavy there was doing nothing. And that was a massive mistake there from the Danes. Natural's gone spiner. Are they just trying anything? Or I... <laughs>
Now, I, from from what I can remember from Natural, from seeing him play in Prem, I think one or two seasons ago, is that he loves going to spy sort of role in the same way that Harblu loves to go spy um, for the Americans. We're gonna have to see how it's gonna pan out though, as the English, they're just gonna stroll in there. Nomlock actually gets shot down. That's a good pick from them, definitely. Uber gets popped very early as well, and in what way? Uh, yeah, Natural immediately changed back as well. He's just gonna go in. Oh my god, Dr. Phil, is he gonna be able to do it? No, he does not. No. Oh my god, he barely did not have enough damage. And it looks like English right now are just one class too good. Oh. And great shot from Boomy. He's not gonna take down Helberg though, but he did the damage, did his job. And it's gonna be four to nothing to the too English. Aggressive. England uh. are too aggressive. I, I don't know if, if what happened at LAN has lit fire underneath all the players from England. Because some of them did get humiliated from the Americans. But all of a sudden, there is this, this brand new mindset in the whole of European TF2. And I think this is an example because I'm not saying Denmark's are playing bad. They're being outplayed right now. Simple as. Yeah. Well, we're going to have to see how Denmark's going to fare with this. They're going to go right side instead. They take down Greg. And that's a start, obviously. Six versus five. They need to shut down Nomlock. There we go. It looks like finally a middle that the Danes can be proud of. Here we go. Five to two is going to be the, the standings at the moment as Dr. Phil is going to have to be a little bit careful here. He's looking at the blue blue uh, sort of lobby entrance, though. The, dog, the door is bugged for me. I don't know, I'm not sure if it is for you, but uh, it's not showing up for me. And we're going to see the Danes are going to push through here. They're going to cap this second point. But Byte managed to stay alive. That means there's a little bit of a window here for the Danes if they want to push. It doesn't look like it though, as Greg is going to be sniping on this right-hand side. Is he going to be able to take anyone down on Riverside? Uh, that remains to be seen, to be honest. It will depend really where they want to go. I don't think they'll get anything because, you know, they probably will know. They are looking to go up there. Are looking to go up there. They've seen him. They've seen him. And he, they're trying to get him. Just don't play aggressive. Greg got out on 16 health. Dr. Phil's gonna try something, can't do anything. Have they heard the heavy? Now they must have heard the heavy. Now here they go straight in. Uber gets forced. Look how late they're gonna look how late bites holding onto that Uber. Still holding onto that Uber. Oh Not my been god. Touched. Not been touched yet. And look how many people. Nothing. Only one person down, and that's for Denmark. No, no, no. Are they gonna push out with us? Look how aggressive the England team wanna be, but just wanna play it safe. They're 4 0 up, you know, they can take it as slow as they like. They don't need to be too aggressive. In the dictionary on their failed Uber, that's what you see. There, there's just a video message instead. That was completely and massively utter fail. There's nothing else I can make from it, lads, as much as I like the Danes. And it looks like the English are going to decide, nah, uh, let's just stay safe on last. Don't want to risk a backup or anything. We've seen crazy comebacks, though. I mean, we do need to point this out, Scully. We saw the French being 4-0 down on Badlands against uh, the US8 team, and they actually managed to almost win it. Um, going into goal and cap, actually, 4-4 four, four in the past 10, like the last 10 minutes. So, still, everything Five. is possible, but the Danes so far, they seem to be outclassed in pretty much any, any, Greg every single spy way. Behind. Sorry, I wanted to say this, Greg Spy behind. Uh, I think this is, I think he's getting, so he's got him, he's got him, he's got him, Sholly! Sholly, oh. he got spotted! He got spotted! I thought he had him for a moment, but the Danes were starting to move, but Natural goes down straight away! They haven't even gone in! What is going wrong with these pushes for the Danes? They need uh, natural. See. Oh, can they kill the soldier? Yes, oh, they can. Hat. hat goes down. This might be the window that they're looking for, though. Numlock needs to get shot. Numlock is out of range of Bite. I think he's going to get shot. No, there he comes. Bite comes back in. Heals up oh, Numlock, and everything is just over immediately. If they would have gone down there, maybe, but the Danes out of position, out of ammo, and pretty much out of health as well. I, I, I just really want to... I really love to, like, hear the moment what's happening with Denmark, because... I, I, I did, like I just said before, they're being outplayed, but they can't push. That's like their second or third time they tried to push and be too aggressive. And wow, look at that. F2 being really far forward and just get taken out from a rocket from Boomy. That should not take somebody out. Helper does get hat and vice versa. Sorry, Phil. Danger just being wiped here. It's just Phil. Wow. Yeah, uh, the it's... dead are trying to fight. But they're not fighting to live another day because they need Again, to get something. Again, though, Scully, like, it comes back to the exact same thing we said earlier. Is that just the Danes, they get outclassed in every way. F2 gets caught out of position where 99% of the entire season he does not. Um, you can see that Numlock is, like, seven grades higher than Dr. Phil. Um, 
even Helberg and Quad, who we said before the game are going to be the guys to watch, they're not as good as they're supposed to be against guys named Greg and Stark. Fair enough, though. Greg is actually playing quite a good game, and uh, we can see the soldiers of uh, Team England. They've been very well instructed that they just need to make sure that they keep the scouts at bay. Now we can see the English push. That might be the end of the Danes here on CP Gullywashers. They're going to come in. One pick immediately onto the pyro. Can they kill Dr. Phil? Yes, they can, and it's going to be 5 to nil. As the first map is going to be over, a white wash. There's everything I can make from it, ladies and gentlemen. As uh, the first map is going to be over, a CP Gully wash, five to nothing, which the Danes managed to win against Israel six one and win against Portugal four to three. But against the English, they had nothing to say, and it was all over within 20 minutes. So five to nothing. We're going to go into the next map any second now, though. As me and Scully are going to sign off for just a second. We're going to have advertisements here at Vanilla TV. Thank you very much for joining us. YouTube.com/slash Vanilla TV org to find our vods and you can obviously check us out everywhere on the right side of the page you're watching right now thanks very much and we'll see you guys for the second map